the black woman, the foundation, the backbone of the African-American family has not only supported, but also invented, created, and made life easier for not just the African-American family, but the entirety of the United States of America. What's up? Alpha, it's your boy, little Alpha, I made looking cute, looking clean, looking sexy. And today we are talking about beautiful black women and what they invented. They invented some things that they never tell you about in the history books. Oh no, they don't tell you what black women did in the history books. So we are here to shed some light on the most amazing things that these beautiful women have invented and give them some credit and some love and shower them with affection because we know they are the backbone of the family. We might be the muscle, but they are the backbone. So let's get to and tell you what these amazing women invented. Sarah Boone. Sarah Marshall was born in Craven County, North Carolina, near a town of New Bern in 1832. She was born into slavery and prevented from formal education. Sarah was educated by her grandfather at home. On November 25th, 1847, she married James Boone in New Bern, North Carolina. They had eight children. She was freed from involuntary servitude, slavery. After marrying James Boone, the circumstances of this is still unknown. On April 26, 1892, she obtained the United States patent number 473,563 for improvements to the ironing board. Boone Ironing Board was designed to improve the quality of ironing the sleeves and bodies of women's garments. The ironing board was very narrow, curved, and made of wood. The shape and structure allowed it to fit a sleeve, and it was reversible, so one could iron both sides of the sleeve. Judy Reed received a patent just eight years prior for the ironing board, and is regarded as the first African-American woman to attain one. Along with Miriam Benjamin, Ellen Elkland, and Sarah Good, Boone was the pioneer African-American women inventor who developed technology for the home. The Boone family left North Carolina for New Haven, Connecticut before the outbreak of the American Civil War. They settled in their house at 30 Winter Street. Sarah Boone worked as a dressmaker and belonged to the Dixwell Avenue Congressional Church. Sarah Marshall Boone died in 1904 and is buried in a family plot in Evergreen Cemetery in New Haven. Sarah E. Good is up next. Sarah Good was born as Sarah Elizabeth Jacob in 1855 in Toledo, Ohio, the same year as the Fugitive Slave Act was enacted. Sarah Good was the second of seven children of Oliver and Harriet Jacobs, both described in public records as mulatto. Oliver Jacobs, a native of Indiana, was a carpenter. Sarah Good invented a folding cabinet bed, which helped people who live in tight housing to utilize their space efficiently. At the time of her invention, housing in New York was expanded upwards, but became restricted in 1885 when New York City passed a law that restricted buildings to be under 80 feet as to combat commercial buildings becoming too tall. Tenement buildings usually had a footprint of 25 feet to 100 feet. In these environments, every square foot was important and saving space was necessary. Good heard of this problem from customers of her furniture store in Chicago and set out to make a solution. Good bed could be folded up and it looked like a desk with the room for storage. She received a patent for it on July 4th, 1885 and given patent number number 322,177. Her invention was the precursor to the Murphy bed, which was patented in 1900. Her goal was to balance out the weight of the folding of the bed for it to easily be lifted, folding and unfolding, and to be secured on each side. So when folding the bed, it will stay in place she provided supplementary support in the center of the bed when it was unfolded. Good died April 8th, 1905. Ellen Elgin is up next. In August 1888, a black woman housekeeper invented a clothes bringer which allowed clothes to be washed and dried faster by feeding clothes through the two rollers to wring 
out the clothing, therefore making it easier to hang and dress. Elgin sold her patent to a white person because she felt it would have a better chance of success than if people knew the inventor was a woman of color. Thus, U.S. patent number 459,343 lists Cyrus Willard Jr. as the inventor. Elgin chose to sell her patent to a white person interested in manufacturing the product for $18, the equivalent of $495 today. She stated in a 18, April 1890 issue of Women Investors, I am black, and if it was known that a Negro woman patented the invention, white ladies would not buy the ringer. I was afraid to be known because of my color and having it introduced into the market. That is the only reason beyond the $18 payment. Elgin did not profit from the sales of the clothes ringer. She continued to work as a government worker throughout her lifetime. Okay, a big one now. We have Madam C.J. Walker. Walker was born Sarah Bree Love on December 23, 1867 on a cotton plantation near Delta, Louisiana. Her parents, Owen and Minerva, were enslaved and recently freed, and Sarah, who was their fifth child, was the first in her family to be freeborn. Madam C.J. Walker invented a line of African-American hair products as after suffering from a scalp ailment that resulted in her own hair loss. She promoted her products by traveling on a, around the country, giving her lecture demonstrations, and eventually established Madam C.J. Walker Laboratories to manufacture cosmetics and train cell beauticians her business acumen led her to be one of the first american women to be a self-made millionaire she was also known for her philanthropic endeavors including donations toward the construction of indianapolis ymca in 1913 walker died of hyperstension on may 25th 1919 at the age of 51 at villa loraro in 1981, the Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company ceased operation. A line of cosmetics and hair products bearing the name Madam C.J. Walker Beauty Culture is available at Sephora retailers. Patricia Bath. Patricia Arabath, born November 4, 1942, was an American ophthalmologist, inventor, humanitarian, and academic. She was the inventor of the laser cataract surgery. Her invention was called laser focal probe. She also became the first woman member of the Jules Stein Eye Institute, first woman to lead postgraduate training of ophthalmology, and the first woman elected to the honorary staff of UCLA Medical Center. Bath was the first African-American to serve as res resident in ophthalmology at the New York University. She was also the first African-American woman to serve on a staff as a surgeon at the UCLA Medical Center. Bath was the first African-American doctor to receive a patent for a medical purpose. The holder of five patents, she also founded the nonprofit American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness in Washington, D.C. She died May 30th, 2019. Mary Kenner. Mary Patrice Davison Kenner born May 17, 1912, was an African-American inventor most noted for the development of the adjustable sanitary belt. Ken invented the adjustable sanitary belt with an inbuilt moisture-proof napkin pocket. She completed a patent application for her invention in 1954. In 1956, the application was approved. The invention was described as a eliminator for chaffing and irritation normally causes by devices of its class. However, the first the first company showed interest in her invention. The Sun Nap Pack Company rejected it after they discovered she was African American. Kenner never made money from the sanitary belt because her patent expired and became public domain, allowing it to be manufactured freely. She later invented a modification of the sanitary belt that included moisture resistant pack. In an interview, Mary Kenner said, One day I was contacted by a company that expressed interest in the marketing of my idea. I was so jubilant. I saw houses, cars, and everything about to come my way. A representative made their way to Washington to speak with Kenner, and she continued to explain that, she, that they had rejected her by saying, Sorry to say, when they found out I was black, their interest dropped. The representative went back to New York and informed me the company was no longer interested. 
Between 1956 and 1847, she received five total patents for her household and personal item creation. She shared a patent on the toilet tissue holder with her sister, Mildred Davidson. She also had a patent on backwasher, although racial discrimination caused her patent for the sanitary belt to be prevented for 30 years. Kenner received five patents, which include carry attachment for invalid walkers and the bathroom tissue holder. Marie Van Britten Brown, also a New York resident, Maria Van Britten Brown created an early version of the modern home security system more than a century later. Feeling unsafe due to her neighborhood high crime rate, the full-time nurse rigged a motorized camera to record her home entryway and project images on a TV screen. Also included in her setup was a two-way microphone in order to communicate with visitors without opening the door, as, to, as well as a panic button to notify police of any potential emergency in progress. After filing the patent, the closed circuit TV security system in 1966, Brown received her approval in December 1969. Alice H. Parker, the central heating furnace design that Alice H. Parker patented in December 19th made use of natural gas for the first time to keep homes warm and toasty. Inspiring her innovation, the limited efficiency of the fireplace along with the smoke and ash they produced during the cold winters at her Morristown, New Jersey house. Merit many, many modern homes still employ a similar force air heating system for which her idea was a precursor. Lisa Gloopter is a computer science entrepreneur and technology executive. Gloopter worked on several pioneering internet technology and she is credited with developing the animation used to create GIFs or GIFs. She served as the chief digital service officer for the United States Department of Education during the administrative of Barack Obama. Her father was Jewish and from Poland. Her mother was black and from the Caribbean. She graduated from Brown University in 1991 at the age of 20 with a computer science degree with a concentration in artificial intelligence and machine learning. She then worked on several pioneering internet technology including Shockwave, a, multi a multimedia platform used for video games, the online video streaming service Hulu. Glopter also worked as the chief digital officer for BET Networks. Glopter is a pioneer in the development of video on the internet including Bright Code, Juice, and Fever. Valerie Thomas, born February 8, 1943, is an American scientist and inventor. She invented the illusion transmitter for which she received a patent in 1980. She was responsible for developing the digital media format image processing system used in early years of the Landsat program. In 1864, Thomas began working for NASA as a data analyst. She developed real-time computer data systems to support satellite operation control centers. In 1964 through 1970, she oversaw the creation of the Landsat program, becoming an international expert in Landsat data products. Her participation in this program expanded upon the work of other NASA scientists in pursuit of being able to visualize Earth from space. In 1974, Thomas headed a team of approximately 50 people for the Large Area Crop Inventory Experiment, LACIE, a joint effort with NASA, Johnson Space Program, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Program, and in 1976, she attended the exhibition that included an illusion of a light bulb that was lit, even though it had been removed from its socket. The illusion, which involved another light bulb and concave mirrors, inspired Thomas Curious about how light and concave mirrors would, could be used to in her work with NASA, she began her research in 1977. This involved creating an experiment in which she observed how the position of a concave mirror would affect the real object that is reflected. Using this technology, she would invent an illusion transmitter. In October 21, she obtained a patent for the illusion transmitter, a device that NASA continues to use today. As a woman and an African American, Thomas worked her way to up to Associate Chief of the Space Science Data Operation Office at NASA, and she basically invented 3D. Wow, that was amazing. 
amazing content. Black women have done so much for us. I am thankful for you, queens. I want to say I appreciate you. All these amazing women did amazing work. And I am impressed. I'm glad I could bring this knowledge to you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy everything about it. Hope you learned something. And keep stomping. Why? Because you can be one of these amazing women. They come from where you came from. You saw slaves. You saw all these different type of people become and do amazing things. So you have to show love and gratitude for these people. And remember, this is why you keep stomping. Because you can be these people and something amazing can happen. Peace.